sehen. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. If any car of recent vintage can be considered a hit with both public and press, it would have to be the Dodge and Plymouth Neon. It's competent, roomy, economical, and just plain cute. All desirable qualities in a small car, but hardly the sort of thing to lure the enthusiast driver. So to complete the Neon lineup, Chrysler's made a few alterations and added a new word to the Neon's list. And that word is performance. What else would you use to describe an econo box that carves up corners like a sports car? It's still a Dodge or Plymouth Neon, but it's the Neon Sport Coupe, a Neon for those who value vigor as much as value. It stands apart from the standard Neon by virtue of fewer doors and some potent mechanical upgrades. Chief among them is a firmer, more athletic version of the standard Neon suspension. It still uses McPherson struts and a multi-link rear, but adds firmer settings and a rear stabilizer bar, and rides on standard 14-inch alloy wheels wearing sticky Goodyear Eagles. Power is also upgraded with this dual overhead cam version of the Neon standard 2-liter 4-cylinder, pumping out 150 horsepower and 131 pound-feet of torque. And to make sure you know that this is the sporty Neon, the Sport Coupe wears not only its slick wheels, but also a prominent power bulge in the hood and large spoiler on the rear deck lid. It's a package that performs as good as it looks. Our Neon Sport Coupe turned briskly into corners, maintaining a flat neutral stance. Feedback and grip are plentiful, though feel comes more through the seat than the nicely weighted quick power steering. And the harder we pushed, the better it worked. Real sports car performance. So handling is the Neon Sport Coupe strength, but a tight brand new engine still managed to produce a zero to 60 time of 7.7 .7 seconds. The quarter mile zipped by in 16.1 seconds at 87 miles per hour. The smooth dual cam engine revs somewhat slowly and makes most of its power up high in the rev band. We really had to stir the standard five-speed stick to get the most out of it. A stick that requires us to sometimes hunt for gears during downshifts, but otherwise is light and positive. Braking was accomplished with the Sport Coupe standard ABS equipped disc. They brought it down from 60 in a straight average distance of 120 feet. Off track, the Neon Sport Coupe delivers a rather firm ride. The EPA predicts 29 city and 38 highway economy. We average 30 miles per gallon. Some of us didn't care for the engine's turbine-like whine, but everyone praised the way the Neon Sport Coupe dispatched the twistiest of country roads. Regular Motor Week viewers already know how much we like the Neon's spacious interior, with its no-nonsense dash design and twin airbags. The well-equipped Sport Coupe is no exception, offering all of the features and comfort of the standard Neon, but also lacking volt and oil pressure readouts in the otherwise large, clear analog gauge cluster. The easy-to-operate rotary ventilation controls and optional cassette stereo, however, are just what we like. We also like the generous storage spaces, such as this cup holder and coin tray. Rear seat room has always been a neon strong point, and with fewer doors, the coupe is even roomier back here than its four-door sibling. A 60-40 split seat back is standard. Trunk space is identical to the neon sedan at a healthy 11.8 cubic feet. And the Sport Coupe shares all the sedan safety features as well, including dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, and 5 mile per hour bumpers, and adds 1997 level side impact protection. While the Highline Neon Coupe goes for $11,240, with more engine and performance, the Sport Coupe naturally costs more. The price starts at $13,567 and totals out to $14,294 in our well-equipped test car. That's a lot of performance for the money and places the Dodge and Plymouth Neon Sport Coupe at the sharp end of the economy car class. It also adds three more words to the Neon vocabulary. Those words are fun, fun, fun. Trying to figure out how to 